السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على رسوله الأمين وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين أما بعد so no doubt every single one of us would love would love for Allah subhanahu wa taala to forgive completely all of our sins and that we will have nothing to discuss with Allah subhanahu wa taala on the day of judgment meaning Allah is not going to go through your sins one by one, day by day, and ask you about this time and this hour when you did this, when you looked at that, and so on and so forth. I think everyone in the room can agree on, upon that, right? Now, one of the ways to, get, to gain that, because the Prophet ﷺ says that every one of us, that your, your feet will not move from its place on the Day of Judgment until you speak to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. لَيْسَ بَيْنَهُ وَبَيْنَهُ تُرْجُمَانِ No translator between him and, him, and, and Allah Azza wa Jalla. No translator between. Allah Azza wa Jalla will ask you about everything you've done. So you want Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to forgive every sin of yours, then pardon and forgive everyone on this earth. And this is the time and this is the season of making amends, pardoning people, forgiving people, letting things go. In Surah An-Nur, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, وَلْيَعْفُوا وَلْيَصْفَحُوا أَلَا تُحِبُّونَ أَنْ يَغْفِرَ اللَّهُ لَكُمْ وَاللَّهُ غَفُورٌ رَحِيمٌ so he says that we should for, for pardon, al-afu is when you pardon. So you pardon someone, it means you don't retaliate, you don't say anything bad to them, back to them. You just completely behave like it never happened. But sometimes, you, this is level one. Sometimes you forgive someone, but in your heart you still dislike them, or you hate their mention, or you hate to see them. You're smiling, then you turn, you see them, your smile disappears. So higher level, higher than that, is to wasfahu. Yani asfah is literally the side. So it's as if you're turning away from it, like you completely forgot about it, like it never happened. Waliyafu, level one, waliyasfahu, level two. So not only do you not retaliate, you don't answer the person, but you completely behave as if it never ever happened. No dry salams, no hard feelings, like it never happened. And on top of that, and so that's why you find many times in the Quran, Allah Azawajal says, Wa'afu, wasfahu, waliyafu, waliyasfahu. And then, Wallahu yuhibbul muhsinin. And Allah loves those who do good to others. So, highest level, you forgive someone. And you behave like it never happened. And you're still doing good to that person. You come to them with kind words or a gift. And that person will never be able to look you in the eye again. Most people just want to retaliate. Most people want to retaliate. Someone says something bad about you, you want to face them, confront them. All these words that people use now to justify. But you can just pardon, and it's better. Because uh, Imam Sufyan al Thawri, the great scholar, news reached him that there were a group of people who were speaking bad about him, backbiting him, saying bad things about them. So he sent them a bowl of dates as a gift with a message that said, It has come to my attention that you have assigned to me, yani you have given me some of your good deeds. Because they speak bad about him. On the day of judgment, he takes their good deeds. Or they take from his sins. So he says, it has come to my attention that you have given me some of your good deeds. I couldn't find anything to thank you with besides these dates, so please accept them from me. Smart man. Imam Sufyan al himself, someone told him, I have never seen Abu Hanifa backbiting or speaking bad about anyone. And he said, Naam, Abu Hanifa aqal min an yusallit ala hasanati man yadhabu biha. He said, Abu Hanifa is more wise than to allow someone to take away all his good deeds. They used to pardon people. They used to pardon and forgive. So we want to stand in front of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala on the day of judgment. Every single one of us would love that. That Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala would say, there's nothing to discuss. Go straight to your home in Jannah. And you start making your way to, towards your home. And no one in this room would love Allah Azza wa Jalla to call him back and say, but there's one thing we need to talk about. So pardon and forgive everybody in your life. Everyone who has done a mistake towards you and so on, you, you can forgive. And forgive so that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgives you. And many times you hear people say things like, I've forgiven everybody on this earth, except so and so, I will never forgive them. And yet it was torture when the, the, the person murdered the family. No, it's just some kind of dispute. So and I ask Allah Azza wa on the day of judgment to gather me and brother so and so in front of him and judge between us. Over what? Over some used car or some nonsense like that? Yeah, wouldn't you be in your house in the Jannah eating grapes and stuff? Or you want to be standing here, Allah, he, he said this and 
So these kinds of things, forget and let it go. There's some big things. Of course, you have the right to, to demand justice on the Day of Judgment from that person. But these little things that we, we have amongst each other, we pardon. Because we want Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala par to pardon and forgive us in the same way. And I'll close by saying, your heart is about the size of your fist. It's very small. Okay? Very valuable real estate, as they say. And you have to put a lot of things in there. Love of Allah, Azawajal, love of the Quran, love of ibadat, love of your family members, love of your first wife, love of your second wife, love of your children. Love of, did I say anything? <laughs> oh, where was I? Sorry, wrong crowd. So much love you have to put in this little place. But you're going to save a place in your heart for someone that you hate. Valuable real estate, you're giving him good portion, lakeside view for this guy that you hate. Why are you giving him such a good place in, in an important place like this? So you forgive other people, not for their sake. Yeah, and if someone was abused as a child, someone had this incident, that incident, they come up to you, they said, someone did this to me and I was an innocent child. I should forgive them? Tell me, you don't forgive them for them. Yeah, by forgiving them, you're not saying, I'm okay with what you did. No, you forgive them for you so you can move on. So you can be free. I know it sounds like a movie, but really, you're always chained and trapped. Oh, I'm, you, you put this label over your head. I'm abused. I'm this. I'm that. Or someone did this to me. And you stay with that label over your head the whole time. And the person who did that, he's having fun. And he, he's having adventures and posting his kebab on Facebook. And he's having a great life. And you're sitting here giving him valuable real estate. So you pardon people for you, so you can move on with your life. You pardon people so Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala can forgive and pardon everything you've ever done. And we're in the month of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala pardoning us and freeing next from the hellfire. And I'll close by saying, what does it mean when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he sees, he sets next free. Look at it, the same word, itq. When you set a slave free in the old days, okay? Someone would tell a, a slave, I set you free for the sake of Allah. Tomorrow he says, come uh, chop this wood. And, when, ya, Habib? You let me, I'm, I'm free. You can't ask me back. If Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala looks at us tonight or tomorrow night or the day after or the night after and he says, I have determined so and so will be free from the hellfire. That means you'll never go back to it. They'll never be under the threat of falling under it again. Just like when someone is free, you never come and ask them to do anything again. So we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to free our necks from the hellfire during this blessed month and to accept our qiyam and to accept our siyam. Zakum Allah khairan for your attentive listening. Sallallahu mubarak ala Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi ajma'inu. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.